I do a lot of spoken word pieces that uh, not too many people watch. But that's okay. It's the exercise of doing it that's uh, so profitable for me. And one might ask, what qualifies you to be spoken wording, <laughs> editorializing on any topic? Well, one, I'm the co-founder of the site and put lots of time and actually money. That's a whole nother story. So I get to do my little pinups for two, three hours. But how can a cigarette smoking disabled man offer anything? Well, I offer it because my mind is reasonably sharp. I have a reasonable IQ and I have been observing things ever since the assassination of John F. Kennedy. And that's when I was two and a half years old, three years old, the neighbor lady, Eleanor Ritz, came over screaming, they've shot the president, they've shot the president, they've killed the president. So that's my first major observation in life. And I think that one area that I'm an expert at, because I've been observing for the same amount of time as the Kennedy assassination, is religion, specifically Christian religion. And in the last 50 years, starting with Parma South Presbyterian, Parma Heights, Ohio. I've attended 20 different, completely different faith experiences, uh, from the charismatic to the evangelical, that's what I call them, they put Bush in power, to fundamentalist churches, to churches that crashed and burned, and I've experienced probably every, any Thing that you could experience in the last 52 years with my faith. And when I was young, I was uh, convinced by a misguided guy named Bob at a retreat at 18 years old that all real Christians go into full-time Christian work. And that was the beginning of the end for me. I had a chance to go around the world and uh, preached 12 different continent or 12 different nations five different continents and then I thought the next thing is to go straight into a Christian school crashed and burned nervous breakdown developed OCD so those are the, the sacrifices that I've made and I know many of you out there have made tremendous sacrifices for your faith and just even just doing what's right when it's hard so I began my anger at God, like Moses when he smashed the Ten Commandments, like uh, Jeremiah in Lamentations. The prophets were very intense and angry people. John the Baptist in jail, questioning everything he'd done by incredible miracles, saying, what's the deal here? I'm in jail and they're gonna cut my head off. And that was the deal, John. <clears throat> So, on the happy side, on the bright side, uh, I googled rewards in this life for faith. And the response I got was incredibly encouraging. I'm not going to proof text. I never do. I only get a little bit of this every Sunday. I'm not Catholic. and So, I've experienced that realm as well. But the most important thing for me to remember is the verse in Mark 10, 29, 30 that promises that every sacrifice every Christian has made will be rewarded. And you think, great, you know, pie in the sky rewards. I don't need that shit. I need something now to survive, to keep going. And so I think God loves it when we challenge him. He knows how we feel anyway. He loves it when we use scripture to challenge him. And my challenge is, where are, where's the beef? <laughs> that goes back 30 years. <laughs> where's the rewards, God? I know I've had a roof over my head and food, but it's been incredibly difficult uh, since getting mental illness from basically these two experiences trying to be a Christian. So everything that I've suffered in that mental illness, in the disability, in the shame of not working, will be rewarded a hundred times in this life. 
So get going, God. <laughs> aye, aye, aye.